presented by Church Tech U, it's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's Pro Presenter Show, how to get additional outputs out of an iMac, a Mac Mini, or another computer that people have said, no, no, it can't do any more than that. Hi, and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where I help you learn all about ProPresenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. Over and over again, I keep hearing people say, I've got an iMac and I need three video outputs in addition to the two Thunderbolt outputs and the built-in screen. I need a third or a fourth. Or I have a Mac Mini and I just need one more video output out of it. And so... I keep hearing people say, oh no, you can't do that. There's a hard limit. There's no other way. That's mostly true, but not exactly true. So I thought that I'd show you a couple of pieces of gear that I have uh, that I've used some in one case for years and years that enable you to get more outputs out of a computer. So let's head over to my overhead cam and we'll uh, take a look. Back when I did everything on a mid-2010 MacBook Pro, I only had one video output. So I bought this guy and they still sell them. They're very inexpensive, like $30 on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description before below. And it's a USB video adapter. Now, with High Sierra, it had problems. But happily, they fixed those in the next version of uh, macOS. So this is my first recommendation. A USB video adapter. This one says DVI, but it comes with uh, the adapters to make it into VGA or HDMI in addition to DVI. So that's my first recommendation. The second recommendation, if you need more than one additional output, is this guy. This is a J5Create USB-C to four port HDMI adapter. This uh, was something that Brad Zimmerman, the other guy that creates all these uh, ProPresenter tutorials, he does the official ones, uh, he recommended, and I rushed out and bought one, and it enabled me to get additional outputs out of my uh, 2017 MacBook Pro. So that was a great buy, and it's less than $100, so that's something else that you can do. My third recommendation is this. Now, if you're doing video production and you're using a video switcher, this is really the way to go. The Decklink Duo 2, it has, you'll see five uh, B and C outputs, but on, one of those is for reference video. So the other four can be individual outputs, inputs, or you can marry two of them together, these two and these two, if memory serves, and um, do key and fill in a video switcher. So that's a really good idea. If you have a um, iMac or a Mac Mini, you can't put this card directly in. You'll need a Thunderbolt chassis to put it into. And once you've got that, then uh, that'll do exactly what you want it to do. The fourth thing that I would recommend, and this would be especially helpful if you're running a Mac Mini, is an eGPU. Now I don't have one of those because I'm not running a Mac Mini. Another situation where you might need it is uh, a MacBook or a MacBook Pro that has the Intel graphics built in but does not have a GPU. So that's another way to do it. Um, if you have an iMac with its own dedicated graphics card and it's a fairly recent one, I'm not totally sure that it would give you as much um, expansion in capability as the the other options would, but and 
keep in mind I haven't actually tested one of these because I poured all my money into all these other adapters. Um, but I think that that is certainly an option. It's just not the first one that I would look into. The first one, of course, is the $30 option, which, as I say, I'll have links to all these things down in the uh, notes below the video. If you like this content, I bet you'd like uh, my ProPresenter 7 keyboard shortcut cheat sheet. So just head over to churchtechu.com. Again, I'll have the link below the video, and you can get that sent right to your email in inbox. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from trinitydigitalmedia.com and churchtechu.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.